my name is LaToya. Welcome to my crafty space. I have my catalog open because I'm a, I was in the middle of creating this card and then I stopped because I'm like, oh, I should show everyone what I'm doing. <laughs> just because lately I've just been creating and I'm like, okay, I'll speed through the creativity process and show them in the video, but I'll just stop and talk when I'm at a good um, stopping point, I guess, you know, whatever. Anyhow, so I'm playing with this poinsettia petal set because Stampin' Up! gives me life. I love, they're one of the stamp companies that I absolutely love. And I love looking through catalogs for inspiration and just seeing, for some reason, when we get new catalogs, uh, again, I'm a hobby demo. When we get new catalogs, I like seeing stamp sets that I already own because if I was selling to other customers or, you know, trying to get other people um, interested, it's nice that I already have some cards made with this stamp set and that it's still available for other people to purchase. Like case in point, I own all of the stamp sets on these two pages. <laughs> I don't know if that means I just like have a good taste <laughs> or I pick things that are like popular, but I love these things. So it's just nice to create with things that other individuals can get their hands on. But as you guys know, on this channel, I love versatility and using my oldie but goodies because crafting should be something that um, is cost effective and reusing things even if they're not current should you know also happen that's what I believe but anyhow this stamp set's so super cute we're gonna close this catalog and I'm gonna show you what I started working on put all of my stamps down and just started like figuring out what to do usually I like to work in threes but it didn't really work this time but that's okay it's fine so I'm gonna do some coloring which I'm also excited about. I'm going to stick with some basic colors. All right, so after spending forever coloring, <laughs> now, and trying to find the right part stock, I'm going to finish this card. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm trying to decide in my mind right now if I wanna do something with all of this white space in the background. I'm not really sure. I kinda, I like it a little as it is, so I might leave it just so this coloring here can be the highlight of this card, but I want something else. And I think that something else I want is a sentiment, honestly. Okay. And here is my card. You know, simple but lovely. And, you know, I should go ahead and put a sentiment on the inside. May magic and wonder bloom this day. That could be nice. I said bloom this day, it's bloom this holiday. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> this could be super cute right here. Y'all know how I do. I'll have like, I'll make this like a little tag and then I have some string, but again, simplicity and I'm trying not to go against that. Yeah.
I like it. I think that's cute. The Magic and Wonder Bloom this holiday. Like, this could be great for someone who isn't too, too into Christmas, you know, um, but who possibly likes to garden or likes flowers. This set came in my haul, uh, Christmas to Remember. This, just this season, looks like it would be completely perfect just right here, just like a little block. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now, the sad thing about this is I purchased this set and like I said in my haul video, I did not get the other set that looked like it coordinated as far as the dies go. There were a lot of really cute dies in the other set, but I just, money-wise, I just, I don't have money for it, so I couldn't purchase it. So I'm going to search through the dies that I currently have to see if I have something that will fit or just for a really quick fix, I'm just going to use my scissors and cut this out. But I definitely am going to be playing with dies with this set. So stay tuned for a video on that, y'all. Because it's going to happen. All right, let me move some of this stuff. Yeah, I just was hemming and hawing and I'm like, you know what? This card, it just looks a little blank. I want to jazz it up. And I really am feeling green right now. So I think I'm going to use green right here also. And if green doesn't look nice, then I'll use a different color. Uh, did I use mossy? Yeah, it's mossy metal equivalent. So color charts to save the day. <clears throat> so my garden green is what is equivalent, almost. So I'm going to use that. I don't even know if garden green is like a current color. As you can see, this is like my old SU pads. I have like, you know, the new ones and then I have some of the old ones because again, money, I like to reuse my things and if it wasn't necessary for me to get the new ones, I did not do it. Okay, let's just grab a piece of cardstock really quickly. So my fiance and I are actually watching like a monster movie right now and he just ran to the restroom. So I'm like, I can do this really fast. <laughs> Using my time wisely, right? I just wanted to have something done before I um, start my 12 tomorrow. Because I have to get up at like 540. So yeah, I right, do a little bit more. You know what? That might be enough. Eh, I just like things dark. All right. I should have used my ink mini ink spot, but I did not. Push. Ah, perfect. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out with my scissors. I don't know if I want a white trim on this. I don't think. You know what? I'm going to do a trim. Because you can always get rid of the trim. So do a trim first. I feel like this looks like a Sesame Street sign, and I don't know why. <laughs> Come on, I got this little edge. I don't know why. It's so cute, but now I'm like, it reminds me of Sesame Street. <laughs> it's just because it looks like a street sign. It's a Sesame Street sign. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, all this needs to be clean. I didn't even wet this. Oh my gosh. He's so corny. <laughs> Oh, that is adorable. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I am loving where my Christmas mojo is. All right, so my card is done. I am so thrilled with how it came out, you guys. This stamp set, the sentiment from here, just phenomenal. Look at that. It looks so perfect. Now, if I go to remake this card, obviously I'll know to insert the ribbon. I just used like a little glue dot and just shoved it in here on the sides to keep this ribbon, well, this twine, which is one of my bigger Twine Essential Packs, um, in here. And then I just prop this to the season up a little bit and it just brings the whole cart together. I love it. It's so incredibly cute. And then you open it to more green, May Magic and Wonder Bloom this holiday. 
just so lovely. So I'm happy I did a little bit of Copic coloring, you know, tried out my skills, my shading skills a little bit. I think it's okay. <laughs> um, I would not make a ton of these cards because obviously coloring is time. It, it takes a lot of time and the masking did take a little bit of work, but I'm really happy with how it looks. It looks like a painting and it's adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this card and I hope you guys do something crafty that makes you happy. Okay. Bye.